Hi and welcome to the text delay version 1.5 update video. So we're currently releasing version 1.5 and that uses a few features that are only compatible with After Effects CC 2018. So if you're not running 2018, then you'll just need to install version 1.3 and uh, that's an older version. It's still good, but yeah, not as good. Another thing to note is that version 1.5 has been completely rewritten, so that is not backwards compatible with any other versions of text delay. However, text delay version 1.3 is. So with that out of the way, let's go through the new features of version 1.5. I've just got some text here and it's just moving out. So I'll apply text delay to that version 1.5 and at the default settings, what happens is it's staggered per character, which is cool. And a new feature that we have is that it accepts parented transforms. This null object is just moving from left to right. And we can see that that's working with our previous animation. Another thing that's happening is that uh, the plugin itself is drawing this text. So I'm just gonna delete the null for a sec. And we can see that the text goes out of the frame. Previously, if we were to just apply, say, text delay 1.3, what would happen was if the text went out of the frame, as we can see here, now all the text is getting cut off, but that is no longer the case with version 1.5, so that's another fix. We've also improved motion blur, so you'll notice there's no motion blur tab anymore. That's because it's inbuilt. So we want it checked on both the layer and the comp, and then if we want to customize the motion blur, we can go into the comp settings and increase, say, the shutter angle for more motion blur or the shutter phase to change the timing of that motion blur. Now let's talk about the separation. We currently have an X and a Y threshold, which is new. It's been separated into both dimensions. So we can see here in the text, different colors indicate that they are separated. So red, green, blue, magenta, yellow. But we can see here that the E and the L are considered the same character. So we can lower the threshold to fix that. And now they are considered separate characters, which is correct. Also, if you wanted the dot of the I to be considered the same character as the I itself, you can increase the Y threshold. If you didn't do that, then it would stagger the dot of the eye first and then the eye itself. One thing to note is that if you have something like a percent sign and your X and Y thresholds are both set to zero, you can run into problems such as that. So it's generally a good idea to keep the separation above zero. Now I've just added some additional text. What I wanna do now is change it to word. And if we wanted to this to separate per word, we'd need to increase the X threshold. And now it's considering each of these different words. So that will stagger one word at a time. The order modifier works exactly as before. So what we can do is reverse the order or randomize it or increment it. And if you're doing random, the random seed is in here. So you can change that up. Range selector works exactly as before. Uh, if we turn off the word guide, we can specify which parts of the text we actually want to apply stagger to. So, you know, if we didn't want the start or the end to have stagger, just the middle, we can do that. And again, opacity works as before because we can't control the opacity via the layer itself or the layer won't exist. So what we need to do is simply keyframe the opacity and I'll just apply an expression to that and remove the position. I've just changed it back to character and we can see the effect that that's having there. So if you wanted why opacity was not via the opacity of the layer, that's the reason. And we also have the text color here. You can have it inherit the color from the palette or you could choose your own color there. In the future, we're looking to make this compatible with 3D transformations and rotation, so that should be cool. But in the meantime, hope you enjoy using version 1.5.